Now here's the cool model kit. It is the Polish PZ P11C Bessarabian Fighter by Mastercraft. Or is it actually Mr. Craft? Find out next. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another model airplane review and if you are a subscriber, thank you for supporting the channel and if you are new, hey, how about checking out that subscribe button right down here and click that notification bell so every time I make a video about an airplane, you get to see it in your live feed. So anyway, today we've got a special kind of interesting treat. We actually have a double review <laughs> of the same kit. One is by Mastercraft Hobbies, and the other is by Mr. Craft Hobbies. Or is it Mr. or Master? I'm not sure, but either way, same artwork, same mold inside. So, without further ado, uh, let's go down and see what's in the box. But I think this time I'm only going to open one box because it's the same kit, trust me. Well, let's go down and check it out. Once again, we take to the skies with another Monster Hobbies What's in the Box. And this time we've got a What's in the Box double feature as we're looking at the Mastercraft Polish P-11C Bessarabian Fighter. Now this is a Polish aircraft with Romanian markings because a long time ago in World War II, Romania actually bought a big air force, but they had to get airplanes from other countries except for the IAR aircraft, which was made by themselves in country, which we'll get to in later videos. But today we actually have a double take here because we also have the Mr. Craft hobby kit of the same plane. Uh, so what are the differences? Well, actually, as we're gonna see in this what's in the box, there are not too many differences, but first major difference, of course, is in our boxes. So, showing this a little bit better here. This is the Mastercraft Hobby Kits edition of the P11C Bessarabian Fighter. And this has got their web address on there, which <laughs> I don't know if they're still around. Now, this is what's interesting about this one. So this one says here, that it is a Polish aircraft or Polish Air Force fighter. Okay, and on the back it shows some of their existing planes. And now, if we look at the Mr. Craft, this is almost like <laughs> sounds like one of these knockoff things, eh? But it, they're not a knockoff. So you've got the same picture again, exactly, by the same artist. Uh, and this says here. Quality decal included. And now the other difference is this time around it says Romanian Air Force World War II fighter on the end of the box. And of course it shows more planes in the series, which is different from this box. So, and apart from that, those two differences, this is the same kit. So which one should we open up? Well, it doesn't really matter because they're about the same. So I think, actually, there are differences. So let's start with opening up the Mastercraft. And we'll just take a, a brief look here. Okay, we got our parts in the bag, which we'll open up in a second here. Then we've got instructions in black and white. And really quickly, we have two decal sheets, one with the Polish markings and one with the Romanian Air Force markings. Okay, so that's pretty basic, but how does it look this way? So if we open up Mr. Craft, we get color instructions, full color instructions. We get the same two decal sheets for the Polish here and the Romanian there with the King Michael cross on there, which is interesting because it's a round L and it's got four letter M's arranged like a 
German Cross. And that's when they were part of the Axis powers. And of course we've got our model kit parts which are not opened in the bag. <laughs> I picked these up at a hobby show actually. So I think what we will do is let's look at the full color instructions which are a lot nicer to look at. And now we're going to look at the Mr. Craft color instructions here. And I guess when you're in full color, they will call you Mr. So we've got a nice color artwork here, uh, which is the same as a box. And right away, this is a Polish model kit, but right away in English, they have the history of this aircraft, what it did and where it fought and the whole thing. And then it goes into the other languages, and you can also read it in Polish here too. Okay. And here we have a, a nice number listing of the parts in the kit, which coincide with the plastic components right there. So that would be that one, as you can tell. And then it gets parts not for use on there, but everything is for use. Huh, interesting. Okay, anyway. It's funny, they say parts not for use, and they have this blue color here. And then they say step one, and it's got that blue color there. So I guess we don't use the seat, we don't use the... No, I'm just kidding. Of course we do. <laughs> All right. Come here. Okay, so we have the seat in step one, and the fuselage going together. And I've got a question for all you model aircraft builders out there. You see, you've got the seat here, so you've painted this thing up, right? And there, it shows the paint color there, the FS codes, which are the Federated Standard uh, Paint Codes. So it's got the number there, so you can actually match this to the real paint. But, but at any rate, so you've you got this seat, you glue it in there, right? And it's painted silver, and in here it's also painted light blue, as the thing says. And now you glue this together, right? And you got a seam line that goes right along the whole outer perimeter, so you clean that up with your hobby knife. Okay, fine. Now you need to paint the outside of the airplane. How do you paint the outside, like with an airbrush or a spray can or something, and protect the seat and the inside that you just painted blue in there from getting the exterior color on the interior? How do you do that? Please, in the, in the comments below, let us know, because I always wondered that. Okay, so here are the engine going together, and it's a radial Skoda engine. Skoda Bristol Jupiter F567 uh, air-cooled nine-cylinder radial engine making 500 km. Or it is a 500 km, I don't know. And there's the underneath going together with our stabilizers on the back. And then there's the plane going together. And they also give you the dimensions for how far the wheels are apart. So you could set up a little jig, 33.5 millimeters with the center line up. So you can measure there to get your wheels accurate. And there's little, uh, cockpit and everything, some glass up there, the braces and the struts. And now here on the back, this is why I wanted to show it in full color instead of the black and white instructions, you have the color paint codes and where the decal placements go for this plane. And there's the Romanian, uh, one of the versions of it, and then the Polish version. Poland uses the uh, squares. And it shows you underneath for Romania and Poland. And then there are two other Polish variations. So basically with this you can build three Polish planes and one Romanian plane. Which is okay. And then down below they give you a whole bunch of what the colors are. And the paint codes, what they mean. And then of course our what, safety stuff over here. And those are the instructions from the Mr. Hobbycraft kit. 
And next we're going to look at our decal sheets, starting with, of course, the Romanian decal sheet. Why would I start with this one first? Because my nationality is from Romania. And we see we've got a nice instrument panel right down there, which of course you'll have to cut out to use on your Polish version if you're doing one. We've got a T there for Trevor, that's for my initial. They knew I was going to build this kit, so they put the T in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know why that T's there, but it's probably part of the uh, escadrille it was flying in or something. And they've got these nice little condors here. Or Canadian goose, looks like almost. There you go. Yeah, let's get up close here. So there's a King Michael cross, and as I said, it's got, whoops, the letter M. I uh, didn't mean to poke your eye out there. Okay, and then we've got this blue um, chevron kind of thing, or blue arrow, which would probably go on the top of the wing. And yellow markings for around the sides. And now we'll just switch this off to the Polish decals here. And the Polish aircraft was, of course, a dark green, so they used white lettering on it. And there's the Polish uh, cross, or the checkerboards. And then it's got, of course, the kit number and who made it. So yeah, it looks like a very nice decal sheet. And now we'll begin looking at our plastic parts. So here we have our fuselage. Hmm, could go this way. There we go. Fits into frame. So we have our fuselage there, as well as our rear stabilizers. And there are some nice details on there. You can see the ribs my light refractions there and I suppose this is the instrument panel I'm looking at or maybe that's the seat and then it's pretty soft inside here some model aircraft have ribs in the back in case you can see around the pilot or whatever uh, if you need a pilot you'll have to find one from some other aircraft kit as there is none available in this one but here you can see some nice little grills, or louvers, I should say, and some ribbing along here. Very soft. There's some machine guns there. Nestled inside that. Or perhaps that's an exhaust. I should really read the instructions before I begin reviewing these kits. If you think so, please leave a message in the comments to tell me that I'm kind of dumb here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway. So that's our fuselage there, and of course we've got our nose cone, and these are some of the shrouds to put together the um, radial engine in the front. And now let's move on to our next parts, which of course are the wheels and the struts and our engine, our radial engine there. And there's nice detail on that actually. Very cool. There's the retaining clip that goes on the end of this propeller. It's of course a two-bladed propeller. And yeah, that's quite nice. And then we have one last piece to look at, and that is this great wing. And this is the top-mounted wing, and it's bent in the middle, like a bird wing. And that is so that the pilot can see through because this wing is mounted, it comes down low onto the, the fuselage here. So it would be almost like this. Well, it is like that. Clicks in there. Oh boy. <laughs> Clicks into here, just like this. And, of course, you can see that the pilot can see through this. This is to eliminate that World War I biplane effect where you're looking through the struts of the top wing. And as we can tell, it's got quite a bit of detail to it. Again, the ribs, a little bit of a mess up here on mine, right in that corner. It could be interesting to try to correct. There's uh, the little machine guns there on the wing tips. And yeah, so quite a nice little wing. Kind of reminiscent of the uh, Fokker Eindecker or the Fokker D8. So yeah, and that is our wing. 
And with the last component, that concludes our examination of the Mr. Craft hobby kit of the PLZ P11C Bessarabian Fighter from Romania. Originally made in Poland. Well, I hope you enjoyed this special Monster Hobbies two-for-one review. The same plane in two different boxes from two different named manufacturers. Master and Mr. Mr. Master. All right. And if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to, again, like and subscribe down here. Because like I said before, every time I make a video, you get notified. And we do a lot of review videos on this channel. We do model airplanes. We do monster and strange model kits, sci-fi, uh, Warhammer reviews, and model cars as well as many, many other things, because I want to try to review every model kit out there, at least in my collection and at the store, so that if anybody ever needs to find out what's in the box, they can just type in the name of the plane or the name of the model, the box number and whatever, and find my video. So that's my goal. And if you want to help me in supporting that goal, please visit us on Patreon. I'll leave the link down below. It's totally voluntary. It's basically, if you like these videos and you want to leave me some kind of tip or something to say, hey, thank you for making these great videos, Trevor, then you just go to Patreon and it kind of comes out of your PayPal. And as a reward for that, I'll give you, uh, depending on the level you're at, your name will appear in the credits or on the video. And actually, right now, I'll take this opportunity to give you two names of my new patrons right here. So thank you so much for supporting my channel so far. We always welcome new patrons to my Patreon. And uh, yeah, it's basically like a tip. So depending on the level, you'll get your name in the credits. You can get stickers. You can get a t-shirt. You can get all kinds of cool stuff, so please support us on Patreon. And now, if you like these model airplane reviews, I'm going to show you four cool other aircraft reviews here, 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 and here. And in the comments below, please write down which one of these is your favorite. And until next time, happy flying.